Hi everybody, this is Donnie. I am back just for a minute though. I wanted to do a quick video and a catch up. I did not have a plan in mind for planning. What I'm doing is paper crafting. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm gonna try to film this as a one and done. That means if I mess up, I just, I'm not gonna stop. So please bear with me. First and foremost, hi. I've missed y'all. I really hope y'all are doing well. I've been tired, exhausted. My uh, doctor has given me different meds, so I'm trying to kind of get used to all that. And, and it's, you know, just been a year. So anyway, um, I have decided not to continue making weekly videos. Um, I feel better about that decision and I am now doing some other crafting that I've been wanting to get into. Uh, I'm doing junk journaling. Uh, for example, this is the current one I'm working on. I don't know if it'll all get in screen or not. I was trying to kind of not have to stand up a lot and look at stuff, but the idea here is to make journals kind of like this. I mean, if you're watching this, you already know that this is like a traveler's journal because of the elastic. I like to do that, but then have places to write, work with beautiful, beautiful, these are digitals. I'll put the link below to um, the one you see mainly so that you might, you know, want to see where that came from. But anyway, that's kind of what I'm doing is making stuff like this, paper crafting. I'm taking all my old scrapbook stuff and putting it all over there on the other side uh, in a, on another tabletop I have, and I'm having a, a lot of fun. So if you want to see what I do, this is just a pocket, just a quick little pocket you might be able to stick in one of your journals. Uh, you might could even stick this in a planner. Um, I'm going to call this a tip in pocket because on the side, this is the side, this is just my example one, on the side that does not have an opening like this one does for a little tag to go into, this one has multiples, I'll show you in a second. But uh, on the side that does not have this opening, you can use, I've used masking tape. I have used little creased over pieces of paper uh, just as a um, hinge. And you can attach it to a, a page and have a cute little pocket full of gorgeous little things like this. This particular one uh, is too small to actually hold this size, but I'm going to make one that is just like it and show you how I did it so that it will hold these and I can put it in that with some different different ones. These are too bright to go in it, but just so you can see it. The concept here is just folding paper and gluing it in a specific spot. This is a nine by nine square piece of paper. This is masking paper. I got it off of Amazon. Check out my link below uh, if you want to get it. Four dollars for a roll. I mean, uh, I really can't buy paper for less than that, especially this gorgeous green. I've got one that's also a little bit lighter green and craft with the K, that color, which is gorgeous. And it looks great on the back of, of these for just the backing of the cardstock. So it's not all blank white. The whole thing to make this is make two folds. I have it, I eyeballed this. I made it eh, about that wide, which is four inches wide. I measured it just so I'd know. So I creased it at, to make about four inches wide. You don't have to measure it exactly. Uh, and then on this particular one, I wanted it to match this one. I wanted this little pocket, which let me show you real quick. All the different pockets. One, I already showed you this one over here. Two, three, Four in the top so you can put something larger and then on the back there's a fifth pocket so it's probably not anything that I actually um, came up with and it's like the first person who ever thought of it I'm not I don't know who did I didn't see it if you did if you did just you know tell me below yeah hey, I thought that went up but I was playing with paper upstairs in front of the TV one night and I came up with this one and this is um, paper, it is actually neat uh, butcher paper, the pink butcher paper. And I have a whole roll of it. <laughs> anyway, you know me, I like to have it all. All you do, fold it, 
fold it over and this is where I tell the direction I want it to fold. So I wanted it with this flip over the right flip, left over right to make it this way. Again, it's going to swing open or over on my page and be adhered on this side with, you know, tape or something, hinge, something to make it turn or flip or whatever. Fold it with the open side over. All I do is fold it up. Well, that's easy enough, right? Fold it up and determine kind of where I want whatever pocket I'm going to put there, or tag I'm going to put there to fit. And then so that on the back I can also put in this tag. So I think, yeah, right about there will probably work. And that's like one third, two thirds or something like that. Maybe it's not. But anyway, that's the whole concept of the whole thing. Then, where do I glue? So that's the next thing. One thing I would say, which I did not bring over here, it's a corner punch. That's the only punch I have sitting here in front of me. The others are over there. Like I said, I don't want to have to go over there. So let's just do this. I want thumb notches on here. So I'm going to hold my paper at these four corners. I mean, yeah, there's four of them there. Match them up and not crease. What I want is a thumb notch. So let me draw one. I think right about there's my center. See, I told you this was not going to be without mistakes. I'm going to go close to this. If you have a round hole punch that is large, a round punch that's large, it's real easy to slide that into that punch and punch just that little crescent right there. But if I'll go ahead and I'm going to get close, it's not going to be perfect because I'm trying to do this, of course, on video and I can't see the line I drew, but it's going to be close and you'll get the idea. I can, I can make it better later and then just kind of cut that out so that when you move it to the position you really want it to be in, kind of hard to see, they'll match. That's the whole idea. It's just so those two will match. I also may want to put a thumb notch here. So I might draw a mark right now while this is um, not glued together. Put a thumb notch right here. Turn this over and do the same on the other side. I'm not right now. Time is you know, going to get away from me. But anyway, that's the main thing to do. I'm going to fold now my bottom of this little pocket. Tip in pocket. And get a good crease on there too. So now I've creased all the spots I need it to be and it's just a matter of adhering what I want to match this one. So I'm going to adhere on the side in one little spot. I don't know if you can see it but it's right there and I'm going to take that all the way across on I think I've decided to leave this open right here. Close this, so I'll be gluing this one and leave this open so that when I glue the back piece of the short part all the way across, it will be closed right there, just like on this one. I'm gonna do that. The front is still open and there's a little bit of paper that needs to be glued right here and then across here. So that's going to be the bottom of this notch in the front and then across as far as your paper allows you to do it right there. Only there do you want to tack it and, and glue that shut because you want to keep this pocket. Okay, so let's do those two things real quick. I'm going to do the back one first. It's pretty easy. And I hope my glue is not going to mess up on me. Sometimes this particular glue does. This is called Art Glitter Glue. I also have this on my Amazon um, affiliate link. And it's like the primo glue for paper crafting uh, junk journals. Okay, I got that. Now I have this opening, 
still. And then that left me my side opening. If I pull on that, it's going to pull apart. But not for long because this stuff is fast. Now this little bit right here, I want to capture it. I might as well just kind of give it a little extra because nothing's going to fit in there because of the thumb notch. I don't want it to go that far. Now I've got this opening, this opening, and this opening. So I've got these three spots. I can pick that up. One, two, three on this side. And that was easy. Decorate as you want. I like to put some decoration, meaning some type of like paper, background paper, or something like that, like from a digital. I like to do the, the digitals, but then I like to come along and put some pretties in here. So on this side, the only thing I need to do, <clears throat> excuse me, is close it the same way I did the other side at this point where we made this pocket. So I'm gonna turn it over to the back take this thumb notch and I'm going to glue from about here only over to where the other fold over when I try folded this goes because I don't want to close off this top pocket. So my top pocket is open. I've got this pocket. I'm going to hold this because I don't want it to pull apart. It is quick drying that particular glue and it grabs quick. So there's one, two, three, four, and five. Five pockets. And I can I can put a bunch of stuff in here. In fact, I can do anything I want with this at this point. But it's just a quick, fun little thing I enjoy making. Sorry, those are so cut wrong. Oh, don't look. But that's just a quick pocket. Um, I'll call it a five pocket tip in. So again, I hope y'all are doing great. I'm doing fine. I'm feeling better physically, like I said, but also mentally. Are we having moments, y'all, of being overwhelmed, I guess, is really kind of what it is. That's why I had to kind of cut back on all the time I was spending on videos. Plus, I don't know how many of y'all make videos that watch me, but if you do, have you ever gotten to the point where as you're doing your daily chores or, or going about doing some stupid little thing, uh, kind of rehearsing in your mind what you might say if you were on video? I got to that point. And um, I realized most of the things I washing the dishes, I was like I was making a video. So in my mind, I've got this stuff going on in my mind about how I would say it as I was doing a video. I had to stop. I had to stop. Uh, I don't know if it was stress or, or what, but all that kind of stuff, I had to stop. So that's why this is just a one and done. I'm going to upload it as is, tell y'all, hi, I'm doing great. And I'm I'm hoping y'all are doing fantastic. Um, I appreciate y'all more than you'll ever know. Um, you left me messages. You told me you were still looking forward to seeing me again and that you missed me. And I appreciated that more than you'll ever know. So I love y'all. Take care. And I'll talk to y'all la hopefully later. And then not too much later. Maybe I'll do another video like this if you're interested. But I'm not doing my uh, planner stuff at all right now although they are handy and I ought to but I'm not it just I had to move stuff away from what I was working on now be active have fun y'all uh, this is going to be a better year we're looking forward to vaccines and everything uh, this is mid not quite mid-march pushing on toward the second or third week of March and things are going to get nice now with spring and vaccines I think we're all going to get back to normal pretty soon so everybody hang in there. Um, take care. Bye-bye.